Hello from me and Percy. You okay? He's upset because all these boxes are here and he can't get past to the window. But welcome to the kitchen makeover part two. It's finally happening. We're finally doing up our little kitchen even more. So the first video I did, we did painting, panelling. We did the floor. <laughs> So yeah, I will link that video down below if you want to watch it. But I thought I'd do a part two because Owen's dad said he can start tiling, which I'm really excited about. We're doing like, not really half the wall. It's going up to the bottom cabinet there. And our cabinets are quite low, so it's not too much. But yeah, we picked up literally five boxes from Wixia's <laughs> five boxes of these tiles from Wix yesterday. So, ooh, he's found a way, come on. But yeah, here are the tiles. I've lost the nail, so let's hide that. Here are the tiles that we've gone for. They're called Farmhouse Cashmere. I thought these were Farmhouse Panna Cotta, but that's one lighter. Um, but I don't know if you can see, but yeah, they kind of like just match the cabinets. Like we've gone for like a greyish, I think it's called like a grey beige. <laughs> I can't be nasty to Percy because it's his second birthday today. So he's all excitable. Oh yeah. He got a new tree today. He's dead happy. I've literally got him a party hat and everything. <laughs> but that's, that's not for this video. But I'm really excited that it's his birthday today. I've even put a bit of makeup on. And um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, really like these tiles. I feel like they're going to look really nice. They're kind of um, rustic. I don't know. I feel like they're just giving like a nice farmhouse kitchen, which I'm really excited about, to be honest. I've also had for this wall, that wall there is going to have a huge 180 centimetre shelf that has arrived from etsy i got it on sale for 70 pound which or 77 for 180 i want to say um i don't know if they're just always on sale but they they kept saying that it was down from like 140 but yeah i'll definitely link the shelf down below because we have a shelf here and a shelf just there and i've tried to get them because they didn't have the exact same company apparently they're just not on etsy anymore that i got these from um but them two were both 60 for both of them so i feel like i got quite a good deal for like a 180 centimeter one the brackets are going to be black though but i'm hoping i don't really mind a bit of mismatch to be honest but yeah the brackets from these are from b q they're just random ones because these didn't come with brackets annoyingly but yeah i need to decorate both of them and get them sorted again because i'm not really happy with them but yeah Tiles are here, and I also got some accessories for my little shelf. And hopefully this weekend I can do a bit more shopping and take you along with me. But um, my mum kindly got me some of these because we do have some that we like just keep out. But I want these to be like never used. Although I was talking to my friend, and he said that this would be such a good like charcuterie board now i see it because of how big it is but yeah i got these two that they're not going to be used for chopping but if i need something for a bit of decor um i'll do a nice cheese board i'll probably use it but yeah got these from tk maxx in corn near boundary mill if anyone is wondering but yeah they're gonna go on my shelf up there and i feel like they're gonna look really nice together got this one for five pound in clearance and i kind of like that they're like slightly different this was only 12.99 as well like i don't know if you can see how big that this actually is i love it and i feel like them two together are just gonna look really nice i might get some more as well i just love um chopping boards and stuff on display i feel like it looks really nice and then i got some prints which i will link down below um from etsy and i love these i really wanted some sort of recipe print to go with like the farmhouse vibe so here's apple crumble how cute is that also the frames are really cheap from asda i think they were like two pound each frames for like an a4 which i thought was amazing for like 
I feel like on Amazon stuff, they'd at least been a fiver, so. And then here's Belgian waffles. But yeah, I feel like they'll all go nicely together. And then I'm probably gonna put some of my like pastas and jars and stuff on there. But I need to like figure out what is going on with all these. I did get some other pictures as well um, that are more, they're not really farmhousey, but I don't know. I kind of want to just fill this room with like different prints. I'm gonna have to get some fake flowers because I keep ki plants, keep killing them all. I don't even know how. Um, well, I either overwater them or don't water them for three months, so that is probably why. <laughs> but yeah, before I start this video, while I had a bit of makeup on, it's currently Friday, and tomorrow, hopefully, we're getting loads of things done. And yeah, I'm really excited, and I really hope that this all actually gets done this weekend. Um, if not, it's fine, but yeah. Kind of tempted to go to like Ikea or go like homeware shopping and like do more organisation as well because I feel like our drawers and like our organisation is awful in this kitchen and yeah let's see where this video takes us but yeah here is kitchen or like new build small kitchen transformation part two. So it's the next day and here is the before. Ignore that, I thought we were painting there and then I forgot we are getting it tiled, so I should probably remove that tape actually. But anyway. Also, we keep, we've been um, trying to fill in this crap, you know, new build life, but we need to kind of sort it out again, sadly. Um, do you know what? We've been here for two years in August and there's only like three cracks that we've really found. So it's actually, it's not too bad, but it's just really annoying that one of them is here. <laughs> but yeah, there's the difference of the colour in the wall. It's kind of like purpley and lilac here. I kind of like it. But yeah, there are all our tiles. Um, we've painted like everywhere now. It's all done. The tiles are going to go here as well. And on the window, which is why you can sort of like see gaps. I don't really know how far up it's going this side, but... She's just gonna go like around here. Um, but yeah, then we need to like decorate the shelves cause it's just quite random at the minute. Um, but yeah, then we're putting our big shelf up too, which I'm really excited about. And then we are gonna get a cabinet for that corner. But anyway, I'm really tired. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know when. I think we're gonna get kind of like a a green cabinet to match the vibe. Um, but that's just not really on our radar right now for the next few months because hopefully this shelf can take some of these so I can have more room. I need to fill them up because they look sad like that. But yeah, let's see how it all goes today. I'm not gonna be able to film the, this because I think Owen's dad will think I'm very weird. <laughs> But it's fine. This is the only angle I can do because I broke my little car mount, but that's fine. It's been broke for months now. I still haven't got another one. Also, it's just started raining as I've left the house. Absolutely brilliant, but we're going shopping. Whilst Owen's dad does the tiles which i've just had a sneak peek i don't think he'll get them all done today but um he said that he'd come in the week and stuff like that but it's all exciting so um and then owen's going to do the shelf this weekend as well i don't i think he doesn't have any space to do it like at the same time as his dad tiling but it's fine I tell you what, it's so good having someone in the family that can like do house things like that because I feel like Owen's dad helps us all the time and like he's a tiler so he's got all the stuff so all we had to do was buy the tiles so ugh, what a treat. I can't afford this life of <laughs> buying everything, <laughs> I can just have all the tiles but yeah at least that's fun and then I don't know I kind of want to just look about see what they have. I'm going to try and like nip into Primark home maybe tk maxx i don't know i've not been into the i've not been into town in ages so <laughs> I think we're gonna 
change these now um, because they don't really match. And yeah, because the, we saw pictures of this sort of towel online and because none of them are straight, um, Owen's dad said that if we have like a bigger gap here, it shouldn't look like some of the pictures do. Because on some of the pictures, we're just not, I'm not the biggest fan of them, but hopefully it looks nice. But yeah, we'll go like all under there and here. We need to move the shelf up because his dad said that I think they just come out at a weird place. But also, our shelf is up. I've just put random things up there for now. But it's a bit higher than I kind of wanted it to be. But um, I wasn't here and Owen said that it'll hit his head if it's any lower. <laughs> so, yeah. I love it. Also, I got some treats from the shop. But yeah, first step. I can't wait to decorate this. I don't want to put the pictures, they look quite small on it now. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to get a jug today, but they just didn't have anything, which is annoying. But yeah, I think we need to change this as well because they had to take this off to see like, where the wires were and they realised that the box behind it wasn't put in properly, you know, no build problem. So we have to get a slight plate to go around it. But where are you going? So the next day we just had a little walk and I don't know how to decorate this shelf. So I feel like maybe we can do it together and make it look cute but I feel like it's still missing some bits and also this hasn't been done yet but I'll keep you updated as well when I look out and it's all finished which will be really exciting but yeah all these shelves need some TLC just don't really know what to do with them I kind of want to move the cookbooks maybe onto the long one and put some pictures on this one but we'll see <laughs> my happy one i think this looks so cute and it just looks wholesome but yeah i don't know how to put the picture like on the wall or not or just leave it like leaned against but yeah my animal animal <laughs> i've been playing animal crossing too much apple crumble print my little heart mug which i use like every day for a cup of tea but i might not be able to now but imagine how cute in autumn when I can decorate these even more as well with like all my autumn mugs. Then I've got three cookbooks. I feel like I want to get some more. Um, do you know, I've actually never used these cookbooks. So. I do have a cookbook on the window as well, which I've put as Easter flapjacks, like all open, which is really cute. And then I've just got my La Crusade mixing bowl that I got from TK Maxx. I'm not going to lie, it is there because I physically cannot put it in any of these. Like they are full and it just won't fit. Um, I think I might leave that red one. Oh, I need to ignore this. Owen's dad gave him this to try and he doesn't like it. And it's been sat there for so long, but he won't get rid of it. You know, men. I kind of want to leave this red one up here though. I mean, I need to wash it, but um, I feel like it looks really cute up there. Let me know what you think though. And then we have all the places that we've gone to together. I don't know why they're so good on the side. But yeah, they're the last few places we went to together, I think. Winchester, Rotterdam, Hamburg and Bruges. That Bruges magnet is one of the cutest ones ever. But yeah, on the MSC one. But yeah, we like to collect magnets. We didn't actually get one in Le Havre in France because we just didn't like it. Really. I just feel like there was nothing to do there. Um, but yeah, I've even got a Blackpool one where me and two of my friends had a weekend um here and we got that one which i really like but yeah i love it i feel like the red thing might stay there this is from romania my auntie brought it me back and i kind of love it it's not um induction so i can't use it but i don't know if you can put it in the oven or not i'm guessing you can but i've never used it i just think it looks too cute 
but yeah that's really cute and then this is what i got up to yesterday and i don't really know where to go with it to be honest i hate the fact that they're not all full i feel like they kind of need to be but yeah oh these need to be separated out a little bit as well but yeah there's like everything that was on this bottom shelf so now we have loads of storage. I feel like I'm going to leave all my baking bits and our little cereal ones there. I do want to get a cereal dispenser, to be honest. But right now, I don't know where we'd put it. So we just put our cereal... Well, I mean, we have no cereal left, <laughs> apparently. It's all under the stairs, so I'll fill them up. But yeah, I might leave all my baking ones up there because I need to go through, like, the marshmallows and sprinkles are clearly off. But now I have a whole other one where I think I'm going to take all the mugs and sort them out because I feel like I want new glasses, like... <laughs> I've got these little mason jar ones, which, you know, they're kind of cute. I kind of got them as smoothie glasses, if I'm being honest. <laughs> um, but we kind of use them all the time. And then I got these, like, recycled glass Coke ones. But, yeah, I don't know. I kind of want, like, brand new glasses and stuff. But I think I'm going to go to Ikea, which will probably be a separate video because I have no idea when that'll be. Um, but, yeah, I just need to, like, maybe turn this into, like, a mug cupboard. Maybe put all them, like, up there and just get rid of all the clutter. And, like, we'll proper, we'll proper have a kitchen sort out. But, yeah, also, this, um, this one I don't really mind, to be honest. I've got, like, a little hot chocolate station and then a little plant, which is probably the only plant I haven't killed in this house. And then two little prints, which... I might put on the wall above it. I'm unsure yet. But yeah, I don't know what to put in this gap here. Um, I like... I like how it... What, that wooden one here just won't go straight. It's really annoying me. So I've got like all my little baking bits, which I think I do think they look quite cute up there. It's kind of like giving, I can't afford a pantry, so I'm going to put them up there. <laughs> and then I've got like a little print and that, and I just don't know what to put there. Like, Owen was like, should we put some plates up there or something? I just don't know. But if you've got any ideas, help me out, <laughs> please. Because I have no clue. Okay, I think I kind of like it now. I've moved it round a little bit. So we have like a couple down here. I don't know if I'll keep them like that, but I like that there's like kind of one on either side. My glass cake holder from Ikea. All the jars are from Ikea and the range. Um, I've got one print there. I might get a few more that can like lean on the back or go like on the wall, but for now. My little Belgian one, I like that it's like clear so you can actually see it in the middle. And then I think I got these from Amazon, I want to say. They're like oil and vinegar, little, I don't know, I just think they're really cute. Um, and then I've done a few more. I feel like when they're a bit spread out and they're not together, I like the jars. And then I got this little teapot. I still haven't used it yet. And a little mushroom and then my, oh, <laughs> I wasn't really with then my chopping boards but yeah let me know what you think I'll try and get a better view i don't know i kind of like it i like that it's a bit more spread out but i don't know if i'll always keep it like this um but for now i kind of like it although i don't have to move this one because it's got the same like shape as them but then it'd have to go there really or it'd annoy me being on one side hmm we'll have a think just leave it there for now put them a little bit closer i just need to fill them up really i do have rigatoni to fill up but it's really annoying i bought a different shape so i'm gonna make go and eat rigatoni tonight <laughs> so i can change it but yeah happy it lo it's looking kind of cute and i feel like these two kind of match quite well but yeah Oh, he wants to get a big clock for this wall as well, and I'm unsure about it. Um, I don't know. I feel like it just might be a bit much, especially if we're getting, like, a little cabinet to go there, but we'll see. Ignore the dishwasher, but it's finally finished. I haven't filmed in, like, two weeks, but Owen's dad came, and he's filled it in. What do we think? I feel like it looks really nice. We've got it done, like, around... The window and then ooh, 
all the way here as well. We had to remove this shelf because it was too low, but we're going to put it up again. But we'll just ignore it that for now. But yeah, I really like it. And shelf still going strong. Ignore that little plant that was on the shelf there. But yeah, we're just going to put everything back. And then this little second part is probably done. I'm going to do another video organising the kitchen because I just want to get this video out and I've not had time to go to Ikea. I need to have a proper think about what I want to do and what, like, how all the cupboards are going to be. But yeah, how cute. I love it. Just gonna fill these up. Got some soft stream green, I love them. But we've got this syrup. Gonna make a really cute coffee area. Caramel, and then we got these from my mum for Christmas. So we've got marshmallow, peppermint, and gingerbread. So I might save peppermint and gingerbread for winter and use the toasted marshmallows for now. These don't run out of date till 2025, so we've got, we've got time. Suck you. It's not gonna fill up a lot, but it'll do. It will do. I got these little things ages ago, but <laughs> it just makes it so much easier. some bits out and i love it ignore percy you won't leave us alone but yeah we need to still sort out this area because we have an ugly bin that goes here but i don't want it out anymore so i don't know where to put that hi i'm going hi got my little tea station we want to swap out this spice rack but for now it'll be fine but yeah I don't know what else to put out, to be honest. We do have some things, so I'm just going to try and find a space for them because I don't want too much. Because I think it's just looking cute right now. Is it big? Yeah, that is the kitchen makeover complete. Just do a quick run over the floor. Ignore that little corner. And the plant will be moving, but I love it. I feel like it's looking so cute from like what it did look like. But yeah, ignore the washing machine, sorry about that, but I love it. It's all done, the tiling and like decorating side anyway. I literally love this shelf so much, you know, we'll see if you can see it properly. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed our little kitchen makeover part two. I'll see you soon for a brand new video. Bye.